Uh, now, one of the big objectives that we have in the lab is to try to make safer cars. And in particular, we're interested in active safety systems, so the cars that can actively avoid accidents as opposed to cars that have passive safety that help you once an accident has occurred. And through the support of the REVS program at Stanford, in order to improve the safety of cars, we've been looking at race car drivers. So by looking at race car drivers, we are actually looking at the same mathematical problem that we need for a lot of safety on the highways. Uh, so we've actually gone out and instrumented some vintage race cars uh, and some really fantastic race car drivers to try to learn how they're doing this. How are they actually handling the cars out on the road? At the same time we've been doing this, we've been working with Audi in the Electronics Research Lab on the idea of a robotic race car. Uh, so this is Shelly. Shelly is an Audi TTS with mostly stock steering, throttle, and brakes. And we've been trying to develop algorithms in Shelly that can get her around the racetrack uh, as well as the very best human drivers. Uh, this is Shelly at Thunder Hill Raceway Park, uh, tearing around the track. She's navigating by precision GPS, so she's able to push right up to the very edge of the racetrack, and is able to handle uh, some fairly complex combinations of curves as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the outside. You can see Shelly negotiating some fairly uh, difficult turns there. It's fun to watch, but a little bit disconcerting sometimes when you realize that there's actually nobody in the car as it's racing around the track. It may be disconcerting for those of us outside the car, but inside the car, it's really pretty chill. Um, so Shelly is calculating the best path around the track and then figuring out what are the steering, throttle, and brake commands that are necessary uh, to achieve that.